So it is now 2023, which means we are much closer to more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth news, with that most likely hitting from May into June around that season of E3. And having just finished Crisis Core Reunion recently, I started to think way more about Rebirth and Zack's potential involvement, from his story to the characters he's gonna run into to his gameplay and how he will control. But before we get into all of that, if you guys wanna take a look at my Crisis Core review that I did for the game, it's it's pretty in-depth and kind of long <laughs> coming in around 16 minutes but I worked pretty hard on it and I wanted to go somewhat in-depth with the game's controls and uh, all of the different new mechanics and all of that so I will leave a link to that if you guys would like to check that out. But getting into the Rebirth talk and Zack in particular, I started to think about the characters he could run into and who I personally would love to see once again. The first one being Cisne. So we see Cisne in Crisis Core and I believe after that, that's pretty much it. We never see her or hear from her ever again. And granted, Crisis Core was written way after the OG Final Fantasy VII, but in the original, the female member that the Turks have is Elena. So there's no Cisne there. And I've always wondered what happened to her after Crisis Core. Did she leave Shinra? Did she head back to Gungaga to keep an eye on Zack's family? Or did she just retire and move to Costa del Sol just to start a new life? And with Zack now being alive in this new timeline, the possibility of those two crossing paths once again does seem highly likely. And I would also love to see them interacting with one another with better writing and better voice direction. In Crisis Core, which was a product of its time, the voice acting and a lot of the writing was not great, as well as the voice direction direction. And you look at something like 7 Remake and most likely 7 Rebirth, the writing, the voice acting, the voice direction, all of that is going to be so much better this go around. So to see these two people have a conversation that feels genuine and casual and real is pretty exciting to me. Secondly, a very controversial character, <laughs> Genesis. Now, do I want to see Genesis come back? That's kind of a yes and a no. On the one hand, I don't like the character because he's not really much of a character. He's very one note, one dimensional. He's this whiny guy who just goes around spouting off lines about Loveless. There's not really a character there, but if they could bring him back and give him a character with actually good writing and make him feel like a three dimensional being, that would be really intriguing. And technically Genesis is still alive. In Crisis Core, we do see Weiss and Nero show up and take his body away. And we do see him show up again at the very end of Dirge of Cerberus. Now, whether or not any of that still counts after what happened in 7 Remake, I'm unsure, but I do feel like Genesis has to cross paths with Zack at some point in time in the future. So it may not be Rebirth, it could potentially be in the third part of the trilogy as well. But again, I want to see Genesis written as an actual character. So that's one of the reasons why I wouldn't mind seeing him come back. It would also be great to see Zack reunite with Aerith. Now again, in this new timeline, we don't know what's going on with Aerith. Is she dead? Is she alive? Has she been kidnapped? All we know is that she is not in the church in the slums, and the people there seem to be very unhappy. And then of course, there's Cloud. What is this version of Cloud doing? The Cloud that no longer goes on his original journey. He's not fighting. Maybe he settled down in Midgar. And I mentioned this in a previous video, but it'd be kind of cute if maybe Cloud was running his own delivery service, much like he was in Admin Children, Strife Deliveries. It'd be a nice change of pace for this version of Cloud, but of course, we could always see him pick up arms once again to help out Zack on this new story going forward. And it would also be kind of cool to see flashbacks to Angeal. Again, do with Angeal what you would do with Genesis. Make him an actual good character now with depth. Instead of being a cardboard cutout dude who's primarily just there as a one-dimensional father figure for Zack, who then passes him off the buster sword. Make Angeal interesting in these flashbacks, make people really care about him. It's kind of a second chance for a lot of these characters. And then finally, there is Sephiroth. So obviously this Sephiroth is doing some really gnarly stuff, traveling through time, changing things. I wouldn't put it past him to jump into Zack's new timeline to interfere with what he is doing. So seeing Sephiroth maybe show up in Zack timeline for a confrontation or a conversation or two would not shock me, but they could always have Genesis technically be the Sephiroth 
of the Zack timeline. Now, moving on to gameplay, I think it's pretty certain that we will control Zack in Rebirth. And as for battles, I'm really curious as to what they're going to do. Will they integrate Zack into the current remake battle system with the ATP gauge and the unique triangle ability and the spells and summon gauges and items and all of that? I could totally see Zack's Buster Sword stance from Crisis Core Reunion make a return and have that be his own unique triangle stance, very similar to what Cloud has with his Operator and Punisher modes, which could be really cool. Or could they possibly take elements of Crisis Core's battle system and put them into Rebirth specifically for the Zack segments? I wouldn't mind seeing the revamped DMW make a return. It honestly was a lot of fun this go around, being able to store your limit breaks and not be forced to use them when you got them, and you could skip all the different cutscenes that would play, and the DMW itself <laughs> was actually a lot of fun. You could have a moment where you were in dire straits about to die and that DMW would kick in and suddenly you were invulnerable or you had limitless MP and AP that you could expend. It was pretty exhilarating and it made battles a lot more fun and slightly busted and broken at times. But it would be very curious to see if they do take that Crisis Core battle system, bring it back specifically for Zack in Rebirth. So he would basically be ignoring the different spell and ability systems from the remake battle battle system and he would be using his crisis core stuff so he would only have the HP bar the MP bar and the AP bar and then of course your shortcuts for your different materia and abilities so it's really intriguing to think about what they could potentially do with Zack's play style I think a blend of the two things would be a welcome addition and I think keeping maybe the battle system of the remake games but also finding a way to incorporate that DMW would be the best of both worlds and I think would be a great balance so with that being said that is the video. I am Curious Corduroy. Please leave your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. Who do you want to see Zack interact with the most in Rebirth? Are you curious about Cisne and what she's doing? Do you even want to see Genesis come back? <laughs> I think I know the answer to that for most people. And what do you think they're going to do with Zack's gameplay style in Rebirth? Do you think it'll just be the standard remake battle system or do you think they will incorporate elements of Crisis Core's battle system for Zack specifically? I will see you guys in the next video. Please remember to to always be excellent to one another.